From Nashville, Tennessee, the country music capital of the world and home of the Air Castle of the South, it is time for the Marty Stewart Show. Featuring Marty Stewart, the Rolls Royce of country singers, Miss Connie Smith, the old Tennessee slicker, Leroy Troy, along with all of the fabulous superlatives, cousin Kenny Bond, handsome Harry Sister, the apostle Paul Martin, plus Gary Carter on the steel guitar, and today's special guest, Stonewall Jackson, along with Chris Crow. Join us now for 30 minutes of fun and great country music. I bet he subs. Now, how about a superlative welcome for our host? Here is Marty Stewart. tomorrow i know what that song's talking about welcome to the marty stewart show everybody glad to have you tune in our first guest terms like american original come to mind a true country music treasure an icon one of my dearest friends he feels like family to me superlatives yeah. he's back how about a hand for the great stonewall jackson hello stonewall <laughs> i got you right here buddy come on in there i got you a seat have you found Since you've turned me down The one that you were searching for Are you glad That you made me sad you know I vow to love you evermore what did you have in mind when you broke this heart of mine are you laughing in my face darling what can I do when you say 
country singer Stonewall Jackson and a Green Time Candy Race. That was one of the big country hits of 1962. Welcome back. Right over there. How about a hand for Mr. Stonewall Jackson? <laughs> one of my all-time heroes, Mr. Stonewall Jackson. Here comes another all-time hero of mine, the great Connie Smith. How about a hand for Connie? Hello, Constance. If you talk to him,
Smith. And how about a hand for our friend, Mr. Chris Scruggs. Looking dapper, Chris. Welcome. My pal Billy Bob Thornton directed a film called All the Pretty Horses, taken from a Cormac McCarthy novel. Kristen Wilkinson, Larry Paxton, and myself made up some music for, for the score of the film that I'm pretty fond of. Here's the theme song called All the Pretty Horses. Chris, cuz... handsome Harry, Apostle, and bringing it right down the line here on the Marty Stewart Show. Now, this show is brought to you each and every week by the great state of Mississippi. If you've never been to Mississippi, I encourage you to make the journey to the Magnolia State. It's a fine place. One of the people that encouraged me early on in my musical journey was a wonderful lady from Philadelphia, Mississippi, my hometown, named Mrs. Jewel Breland. Mrs. Breland was my fifth grade teacher, and the truth is, I was pretty useless around the schoolhouse. I truly considered myself a failure, but Ms. Breland saw the music in me. She and her husband, Bud, happened to like country music. One time they even went to a Stonewall Jackson show in Jackson, Mississippi, and brought me back a souvenir. How about that? That's what she saw. She let me bring my guitar to class. She encouraged me, and she let me know she loved me. She taught me to follow my heart and said it's the best way to make your dreams come true. I've never forgotten Mrs. Jewel Breland. Her love has lasted a lifetime. Mrs. Breland is a great example of the kind of people that I know and love from that hometown of mine. Speaking of Philadelphia, Mississippi, here's to good teachers. And what do you say, Mel? We make welcome the professor himself, the old Tennessee slicker, Leroy Troy. Hello, professor. Yes. Hey, we're talking about teachers, and you are a Rhodes Scholar, and you're about to prove it. Oh, yeah, yes, man. You are. I'm fixing to take y'all on a ride. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Glad to have you on board, Chris. <laughs> What's it called? Um, give me 40 acres. Right here. And you'll turn this yeah. rig around. I am. Come on. Boston and a big long diesel truck. It was his first trip to Boston. He was having lots of luck. He was going the wrong direction down a one-way street in town. And this is what he told him when the police flagged him down. Give me 40 acres and I'll turn this rig around. It's the easiest way that I found. Some guys can turn it on a dime or turn it right downtown. But I need 40 acres Turn this rig around. Do it, Leroy. When he finally found where to unload, he had a dreadful shot. His trailer pointed to the road, his cap right for the dock. And as he looked around him through his tears, he made this sound. Oh, give me 40 acres, and I'll turn this rig around. Give me 40 acres, and I'll turn this rig around. It's the easiest way that I found. Turn it on the dime or turn it right downtown. But I need 40 acres to turn this rig around. Yeah. Yeah. When he finally got unloaded, he was glad to leave the town. He was 
was very, very happy going back to Alabama. When up ahead he saw a sign said, you are northward bound. He said, give me 40 acres and I'll turn this rig around. Oh, He saw a sign He had to make a left turn But he could not get in line With tears streaming down his face They all heard him yell Give me 40 sticks of dynamite And I'll blow this hey! place they Give me 40 acres And I'll turn the trigger around It's the easiest way that I found yeah. Some guys can turn it on a dime Or turn it right downtown But I need 40 acres to turn <laughs> Leroy Troy needing a lot of room to turn his rig around. Give me 40 acres. Well, hymn time is always special time here on the Marty Stewart Show with a song written by Arthur Guitar Boogie Smith. Let's listen now close as Connie Smith sings, I Saw a Man. Last night. Back now to a pair of true country classics. Here's Marty Stewart and Stonewall Jackson. And right back at you, Eddie Stubbs. Stonewall, one of my all-time favorite recordings of yours is Life to Go. Would you honor us with it today? I shall be glad to. Oh, yeah. I've got a sad, sad story, friend, that I don't like to tell I had a home and family when they locked me in the cell and I've been in here 18 years a long long time I know but time don't mean a thing to me cause I've got life to go well I went one night with 
the lights were bright Just to see what I could see I met up with an old friend Who just thought the world of me He bought me drinks And he took me to Have a honky-tonk in town Then words were said And now he's dead I just had to bring him down Well, it's been a long, long time now Since I've heard from my wife I know I'd be there with her yet If I hadn't used that knife I'll bet that little girl of mine Don't realize and know Her daddy's been here 18 years And still got life to go One man outside has been so long in jail I'll be here in this prison Until my body is just a shell I can't be free to go and see The ones that I love so Cause I've been in here 18 years I've still got life to go Yes, I've still got life to go I've still got life to go. Thank you so much for that one. Thank you so much. It's all a story. 